Uh, switching gears a little bit to Congressman, you mentioned the Republicans will take control uh, of the House of Representatives in January. Uh, are, are you uh, in line to become the chair of the House Subcommittee on Domestic Monetary Policy? And if you are, has the Republican leadership decided yet whether or not you will assume that chairmanship? Essentially, yes. The uh, chairman of the Financial Services Committee, uh, Spencer Bacchus, has told me today verbally that I will be the chairman of that subcommittee. And he was the one that appointed me as the ranking member, and he's sticking to his guns. And he said that I will have uh, responsibility for that committee. Well, the blood pressure is going up as we speak over at the Federal Reserve, because I'm <laughs> sure you have in your briefcase subpoenas that you are ready to serve upon them. This, this, is, this is great news for those of us who want to find out what the Fed has really been doing. Question, can you serve those subpoenas? Could you, as the chair of this subcommittee, accomplish what the Congress refused to do during the past session called audit the Fed? Well, it's a good question. I, can't, I think you can issue the subpoena. I'm sure I would have to have, uh, you know, agreement from the chairman as well as the speaker before you get to that, that part, you know, to go that far. But whether he would respond to it or not, no, he might hide behind, uh, uh, you know, secrecy and say, no, we don't have to. The law was passed and take it to court and take it to the Supreme Court before they release it, just like they, they fought the... Uh, uh, Freedom of Information Act. Look how much they fought that. Right. And you know they have unlimited resources. They don't have to worry about a budget paying for their attorneys either. Before, right? Before I let, well, they have unlimited resources because they print the cash. Be before I let <laughs> yeah, you go, you Congressman, go. some of your colleagues on the other side of the uh, of the Capitol in the Senate are proposing legislation to redefine the word journalist and redefine the word publisher so as to allow them to prosecute people who are journalists and publishers but reveal information that they don't like. Would you oppose such legislation as being oh contrary to the First Amendment? <laughs> Oh, absolutely. But doesn't that remind you of 1984 when language becomes pretty vital? This whole idea that they might change the definition. Matter of fact, I have a much broader definition. I don't think you have to write for a newspaper or a magazine or be on TV or even put stuff on the Internet. I think we all should have those First Amendment rights as if we are journalists. We even if we yeah. write a note to somebody. So, no, this would be atrocious to think that you can change the definition of words in order to promote the state and further attack the internet. That's what they're trying to do to us. Unbelievable. Congressman Paul, congratulations on the chairmanship and thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. Journalism or espionage? Republican Senator John Ensign claims